Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our adventures through Assassin's Creed 3. Try to barrel through all the important things I care to do. Yeah, the map, the map button is still the PlayStation 4 controller touchpad. Still don't know when that happened. Because I swear, it w I was using the options button, the select button, for the longest time. And then it just flipped up on me and I'm scared, Billy. But yeah, we're just going to barrel through, try to do homestead stuff, and then barrel through the story so that we don't have to experience this anymore. <laughs> but let's talk to Norris and see, see what the final thing he has to worry about. Because I think this will be the last mission for him. Use your help. See more. I want to build her a new knife of steel I make special. I, know I make special. But the mine belongs to the English. Will it take <laughs> long to gather? No. The a mine belongs to the English. We, we must need. murder them. I just need you to stand watch. I will wait for you at the mine. It's not far, just off the property. I just realized you kind of look like a gnome. Make him shorter, he's a gnome. Well, at least we can just... I guess he's outside. So I guess we have to go into the frontier because I don't think it shows mission stuff. That's a downside of this. I feel like you should be able to see because, like, it's just icons on a map. I don't see why it's designed that way. I know that, like, a lot of games are designed that way. I just personally don't see why. But since he decided to fuck off to lands unknown, let's go do the other homestead missions that are here. Will be hilarious if... In, if Okay, Connor, that's not what we want. Would be hilarious if any of these other homestead missions... Connor, why did you jump? We were just going down a hill. A hilly path. But yeah, to try and say it while Connor just decides to be a silly little man. But it would be amusing if any of these involve, like, Norris while he's out. He just, like, suddenly has returned. But probably not. Oddly horrific. Now, how do I get in here? No, seriously. <laughs> they are inside. Do I... Huh. I was holding up that entire time. I had to un... I had to let go of holding up. How do I get in? Ah, it's not the big door, it's the little door. But not on the back, it has to be on the front. What is it you require? Is it religion or sheep? <laughs> is that lighting engine or intention? Excuse me. Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give better That was just oddly cinematic. Old traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by... <laughs> they the just universe. slap each other. Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor... Come Why not just... <laughs> minister, Father. Father Timothy. We have to have a church. We can't just go and... You know... Have like a gazebo that we all sit under. No, it has to be a big old church. Bless you. This will build a fine place of worship. I have nothing else to spend my money on, really. Everything is meaningless in this game. And it looks like every other church in existence. And that just creates yet another. But 
Yeah, it's just like. Somebody, please help me. Well, that guy's not helping. Why? What the hell? What the hell, dude? A <laughs> lady's in hell and you need help. Somebody, please help me. I should kill you where you stand. Connor, save the Lord. And then I could just walk away, but I won't. Prudence, are you all right? What are you Connor, doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness. The baby's coming. We need to get you to Dr. White. No. Why is there blood? Can't move. Take my horse. Bring him here. Go! I was going. And of course, childbirth must be shown as utterly horrifying and potentially deadly. Then again, this is literal colonial America, so... Well, things could go wrong enough that it is indeed deadly. Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. Come along, Ducky. We must go. Run over civilians. Now? Yes. We just got thrown off our groove. Why do we need to get Warren? Warren, are you here? Should we just gather the whole village? Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? He immediately knows. Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that yes. Saw. <laughs> there was blood. Might be we have some time. We must hurry. If we're not fast enough, the chest burster will come. Stay close to allies. I meant to get here quickly. That fucking doctor is going to make me lose this. Yo, Doc Boy. Doc Boy. Come. I understand you're a doctor, not a horse dude, but come on. You're the... He's like, we gotta hurry. He's stuck on a tree. Hello, doctor. I feel like I following AI you. should phase through sure objects if they're long... No, like, stuck long enough and they just come along. Here by the looks of it. I should not be held down by my allies. Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. A good name. Also, it seems like... Ah, so that, that was the level one doctor unlock. But it, it seemed like they just made a baby model and just didn't even animate it, which is mildly hilarious. Onwards to the next homestead mission. I kind of don't know why I'm doing them. I don't really use the homestead stuff. You're like five billion years away. Him on Mount Everest. Do you have a moment, Connor? Him at the bottom of the ocean. Connor, do you have a moment? I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. I think I had a chair that was exactly like that. I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them. What would you have me do? Kill everyone in Watch Boston. My back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. So basically the same exact thing f for the woodman as I'm doing for Norris. Go place... Oh uh, uh, yes, I want to lock on to the person and not the mission. You are a f Well, not person, but like tailoring shop. Like I get there on top of each other, but it bothers me. You are a 
demon. We must kill Ellen now, so she can never make the Ellen DeGeneres so. It is the only way. Are you also wanting to go back to Boston or New York to gather your stuff? Oh my god, it is. They are very valuable, but I don't think it's wise I return there. Someone might wind up dead. That's a nice threat. You could retrieve them for me if you also, why are you sewing out in the open? Is it to like make sure that everything looks good under actual light? So I have to go into the wilderness for the one guy, for Norris. Then I gotta go into Boston for the for the carpenter. And then I need to go into New York for my for the for the fucking seamstress. Why did all of these missions line up at the exact same time? I've been doing the homestead missions as they pop up and as I return to the homestead. So it's just weird that they all just decide, hey Connor, come with go place with me. And of course, he's off in the middle of fucking nowhere. I will teleport down to New York and then just run up there for Norris. And I won't bother with, like, any diddly dees. I might bother with any chests along the way. Is there any chests? Eh, but that's kind of out of the way. It's basically going the same distance twice. And then I have to return to New York. Well, then fast travel points exist. <laughs> I shall ignore the treasure chest. One likely just has money in it anyway. One thing that I ha I keep thinking but fail to voice is I'm very disappointed by the hidden blade combat in this game because it seems that they just do away with it being actual hidden blade combat. And more imply that you're using a normal dagger with the hidden blade. In tandem. Which just, I don't know, ruins the mystique of it. I prefer Ezio and Eva... Once again, kind of prefer Altair's way of fighting with the hidden blade. Where it is a timing thing. Very strict countering to get an instant kill. Because that felt cool. It felt like what an assassin would do. Now they just lazily diminished the hidden blade to being just another weapon. It doesn't, like, none of the weapons feel any different from what I've used. Granted, I've only used the like hidden blade, the hatchet, and the sword. But, like, they don't feel different. Is this a precursor to what, like, Odyssey, Origin, and Valhalla are gonna be? Where weapons don't matter. What's that show? I forget. There was that funny show where they had people come up and do, like, improv. Like, words from a hat. Welcome to da 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 where the points are made up. Or, like, uh, I forget. Where there's something and the points don't matter. I just forget entirely. Leave me alone, wolves. Go bother Star Fox. Whose line is it anyway? That's it. My memory has returned. It's like, welcome to Assassin's Creed, where all the weapons are the same. So they just don't matter. Don't mind me, I'm just a man from the woods. And they decide to go and do walking for some reason. They're being weird. I'm not done with you. The AI on its first breakage of the day. The AI is just having a fit. I 
I think I fixed it having a fit partially. Nah, they're still petering about. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Get out of here. Yeah, see, so he just uses a normal dagger with it. Ezio's kill animations were so much better. I became one with the tree. That's not what I wanted, game. Fish in a bow. He was trying to shoot me. How dare, game. And now I get to loot both their wagons. How illustrious. And it took away my control of both camera and <laughs> movement. I hate when games do that. What loading is occurring there? What weirdness. And I partially dislike the attack convoy thing because it treats it like a mission, but it just spawns out of nowhere. So the game just feels mean when it's just like, ah, you, you're failing the mission that we sprung on you. We need to prepare some explosives. My guess is the bang will bring some unhappy English. <laughs> no doubt. I had best prepare some things myself. Looks like you have a little time. Oh, he's just going to go in there. Hmm. Like, what am I to defend? Sacre Dieu! I think they are coming! The British are coming. Once again. Very annoying that that... Very annoying that they are co trying to combo me so I can't save the motherfucker. Will you fuck... Game, you are being a dick. That was bullshit. Genuinely. That, that is terrible design. Where they're just like, her de her the enemies will all gang up on you while one is ganging up on him and there's no way you can do anything that's stupid and bad and I hate it. And those <laughs> British off in the distance are like, what the fuck, what the fuck it seems. Oh, that's fired. Hate the big dudes. The big dudes are annoying. Should put on my bow. This is my last one. Just a little longer. Just a little longer, he says. Just a wee bit longer. Took away my control, my camera again. Why is that just a consistent thing with this game? Game, 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 game. You piece of shit. 
It took me aiming for it to finally fuck off. Why do they care so much? I can kill you. Why is it taking so long for that motherfucker to die? I swear to fucking God. That guy didn't even die. I just hit him with the bow. And the game decided, yeah, okay, cut to black. Got everything. Time to go. Now you can go up to her and say, hey, I killed tons of British for you. Isn't that amazing? I swear to God, what is with this game in taking away my control? I hate it. What the fuck? Why is there a homestead mission there? Well, we're in the... We're in the wilderness. Well, actually, I think it's a... Ah, but there's the river... I'll just go with the normal route. He's just like, where did this homestead mission arise from? What does it mean? What it do? We run round in circles round round. But we shall do the homestead missions at least, because as far as I am aware, none of the homestead missions have supremely pissed me off. I might have groused and moaned about some of them over so things like the shot put mini game one for some reason, the weirdness that is the the two guys. I don't want to attack another convoy. Government assigned. Convoy attack mission. I like, uh. But yeah, like the mini game things with those two guys. While they investigate a murder, he plays the drums. And I did it stealthily. Huzzah. But if the game did demand me to do it stealthily, it would have said that I failed. Because this game was made by weasels. Entrapped weasels. Doomed to toil in the mines of coding and design for their French overlords. Sure, there's a feather there, but I don't care. If the feathers are anything like the bonus objectives, they probably don't do anything. I don't fucking care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't fucking care. But I will kill you. I'm not even sure if I did kill him. I did the animation and the game said, Nyeh. So did I d kill it through telekinesis? Who knows? We'll never know. It's Schrodinger's deer now. Did you really think we wouldn't come looking for you? Get out of here, mate. This is not your business. Here's my business. Another tough guy, boys. 
immediately just murders him. And that last guy was still alive! Is something wrong with the programming? Enough. Oh. I have him. It was planned, because I needed to shoot him. It's him. Nothing that won't mend. Big Dave. Thank you, stranger. What were they doing? This lot was dragging me through the countryside, trying to make an example of a deserter. Sorry, now, who are you? Connor. A deserter, you say? Don't much agree with the fight, and uh, I love this country. So there you have it. The name's David Walston. My friends call me Big Dave. Might I ask where you live so I could repay the debt when I'm able? Over yonder. It might take us a while. Us smithies don't earn much coin these days. Our community is not far from here, and we certainly could use the services of a smith. Would you consider plying your trade there? Well, it would make repaying you a spot easier. Huh, I just might. I can now make nails. Nails! All that time I was trying to go to the map and the game was just like, but there's a notification. I don't care. At all. Well, but the presentation. Give me my map. Let us do the Dora. Find the map, find the map, find the map. Fuck off, Swiper. Did I go the wrong direction? No, I'm going the right direction. It's just a fucking long way away for some reason. Why? Also, exceedingly bothers me that the mini-map is not aligned with the road. Like, I can understand that it's probably a bit tricky to get it super precise, but still. Yeah, there's just thingy to things to things. Mostly don't care. He will go. And probably kill a bunch of people while he gets his tools. And now we are in laggy Boston. Super laggy Boston. Everyone is out to kill you, including the frame rate. I still don't understand that, because, like, earlier it was fine, now it's not. Again, it feels like the game is disintegrating before my eyes. Connor, good to see you. How you're not murdered yet. We can be a two-man hiding scheme. Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Life indeed. Really? How do you mean? You know, you make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better. Only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortunes. It will pass. I guess it kind of makes sense that he wants to avoid his neighbors without Connor here, so it kind of takes us a little bit to get to his shop. So I suppose it's not terrible that we have to walk a long way. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? Fiona, via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town, was it to you? I am the owner. I am the <laughs> owner? Not anymore, mate. Sorry. Better sort things out with your apprentice. He's often at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. Want me to go and murder Patrick for you?
We shall kill him for all his sins. Kill him with fists. Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. Beat him up. Anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. What rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood! He'd never sell them! I bet he's got them stashed somewhere! And then we follow him. And then we kill him. Why not just shoot him in the leg with an arrow and say, give the tools or die? Man, Lance is an angry boy right now. I have to be careful because the game will, could just at any moment go bullshit on me and make him go super mode where he just knows I exist and looks at me. I have to be super careful. See, he's doing it. Good thing Lance is <laughs> agile enough to jump into a bale of uh, piss-poor graphical rendering. What the fuck, game? Why would you design the game like this? No, seriously, that is such terrible design. That you would have the stupid bullshit still active during a mission. It's just a random ho 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 we put fucking treasure in there. So we're gonna make it an annoyance to get to the treasure and it's still gonna be active after you get the treasure. Terrible design. Fucking swear. Or at the very least, it sh they should have fine-tuned the... Uh, like, restricted area to be behind the guards. So that way you don't accidentally activate them. Good job hiding. I'm not sure if it's the game bugging out or if it was intentional, but good job hiding. Lance has the zoomies, it seems. Father Timothy? What are you doing here? Let me guess, is he going to turn around again and I need to jump in this bale of poor rendering? No. Good job. Here I thought we would have uh, confronted him and beat him up. Well, that's something at least. Thank you. Still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. No catharsis with that mission. We should have confronted him and have like a fight with him. He called in his cronies. It's just like, oh, I have the boys help me. All of Lance's neighbors run out. It's just like, let's kick his ass. It's just like something more interesting. No, it's just like, tail this guy. And then we did. Riveting gameplay. I just felt like there would be more to that mission. Maybe that's why they shittily placed the restricted zone there. So you have a bit of combat with the guards. 
before you actually not fight Patrick. She's like, come on, you're going to give him an ugly mug and not let me fight him? Bullshit. One thing that I have noticed is that we have, like, hardly done anything in New York. It feels like New York is half an optional place, which is just kind of disappointing. Because other locations in past, like, like in at least Assassin's Creed 2, it felt like an actual place you'd go and visit around a bit. You go to a new location, you hang about and do things for a while. Imagine if you went to, like, Venice in Assassin's Creed 2, and it was, like, a fully rendered city. Technically had, like, plenty to do, but you mandatorily only had this hardly anything. It would just be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But I guess we'll go do Liberation Mission. As I check the contracts. Oh, this place is uh, freed, is it? Oh no, there is one that is in needed. Hmm. Send them away, I guess. If they fail, oh well. It's not like they can fucking die. What's the green marker? Destination. Destination for what? I'm going to assume the homestead mission, but still. Weird. I guess we'll grab the money or whatever. Liberation mission. Do that, I guess. Liberation mission. Then main mission. Perhaps. I find it amusing that the British men of the frontier know me more than the British men of actual cities. Which you'd think news would travel faster to cities than in the wilderness. You kill a bunch of British men in one corner of the wilderness between Boston and New York. Suddenly they all know. Didn't I climb that building? Why is it suddenly a... Oh, because they added a fucking box. That's all that it is. That is dumb. Connor? Climb that fucking wall. I guess it does rep... I hate you. Come back here, you coward. I hate that it's so picky. He's like, no, you need to be in front of it. You need to be in front of the diddly days. Just like, well, you fuck off, mate. I just want to pick a box. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is better than you. Game, I just want to climb the corner. You can totally do that, you know. I hate that you can't just, like, stealth attack them. Game is lame. I don't know why, the combat just seems so much lesser than... ...normal Assassin's Creed. Like, I swear, normal Assassin's Creed, even Assassin's Creed 1 had more engaging combat than this. Probably because it's just, like, so generic by today's standards. Whereas, at least Assassin's Creed 2 felt comfortably Assassin's Creed 2. Then comes along, this game is just like, let's boil it down to generic third-person action schlock. Want to go liberate? We were just discussing the result of your work. It seems these military men are after you. I have caught their attention. It does make our goals harder to achieve. The man we're after has gone into hiding, protected by his soldiers. I can go kill him anyway. We fight our way in then. Not possible, even for a man of your abilities. 
But I have another, less conventional idea. You will be our prisoner, and we shall present you for the bounty. Why can't I just go and... Took me a bit to, to pick out the red dot on the minimap. Amidst all the other red icons. As well as the ever-present annoying PlayStation 3 bonus DLC mission that refuses to leave. If I'm in New York, that is very bothersome. It's like, yes, I know, the missions exist in that other mini-map. I don't need you to tell me, game. With your teleporting time missions. Dee diddly dee diddly dee. I phased through that man. He must be a ghost. It's so bothersome. Why is this? Why do the fucking frame rate just dive so much all over the place? Makes no fucking sense. And it's just like, and not to mention, all of it is just like so basic. Let's get rid of those at the very least. See if it helps. Probably won't. I think it might have. Was motion blur in the cities destroying everything? Or did it just need to reload the assets somehow? What the hell? This game is an enigma made by weasels. People, bear witness to what happens to rebels in my part of New York. So, so what you're saying is they're not actually going to present me as a bounty and I need to go on there and kill them anyway. Or did they... Like, I don't know. These men defied the curfew. Set in place for your safety. They assaulted his majesty's soldiers and conspired against the authority of the military. Such blatant disregard for the protocol designed to protect the citizens of New York will be punished by death. We seek not to control you, to oppress you. We seek only to ensure your safety in the face of conflict and aggression. The civilians of New York... I hate the AI in this goddamn no game. No it's just not fun to stealth around. It seems that Fuck off, game. Men sought to jeopardize your well-being. I will not tolerate it. Form up! Yeah, fuck it. There's no stealthing in this game. Like, I'm fairly certain I killed the guy. I can't even double check because it won't let me do eagle vision. This game is terribly made. Execution indeed. Off, will you? I clicked the button and then clicked the button, and the game decided to say no. <laughs> We're not going to acknowledge your button presses. And that's why they all gotta die. Who was he really? There are but I gotta say, why would you start the mission going, we will present you as a bounty? And then they don't. They present someone else as the bounty, I guess. Or something. The mission... Did they just make a random mission and then stick random cutscenes on either end of it? That just... At least the ending makes sense, but the initial one, that makes no sense. Blah. Powerful organizations who seek control. 
Nothing more. This man belonged to one. It must not surprise me. I don't know who you are, but if you should need my help, I am happy to give it. As are my lip flaps that are doing nothing. You can do this assassin maneuver. And it's just like, why do I care? I don't care about any maneuvers. We'll grab these chests, go up there, do that liberation mission, and then diddly dee. -de -de. But yeah, it, it, it threw me off my game so hard that they were like, we'll present you as a bounty. And then they proceeded to not do that. What is wrong with this game? Like, were they crunched? The, like, would it even be crunch at that point? Like, you couldn't, like... Because my mind goes to, if you are in crunch and you don't have time to make, like, a cutscene or something actually showing Connor being taken to pretend to be a bounty... Cut to him being in the brig, and they swindled him his weapons so he can break out and kill, I guess. Something. Anything. But I guess even that would be too much because they'd have to, like, program an interior or something. I don't know. It's just... It's so weird. It is so weird. And again, it baffles me because for the longest time, I thought I heard good things about this game. When at this point, this is Unity Light. I'm running into tons of control issues, some glitches, and like, and the, just the overall design is weird. I'd help, but last time I did, you were angry at me. Luckily, there's a war going on, so they don't care if I steal. Ah, well, we can just go there. Whee! But yeah, it's just, it's so weird. So much of this game is just so weird. Times where I should be able to climb a thing, and then the game just goes no. Like with that shack when I was trying to get a guy out of a pillory for one of the liberation missions. Just the frame rate in general. Also hilarious that this is a remaster for PC. Well, I guess in general, it's just a, a general remaster for consoles and PC. But the PC version has like no P <laughs> options whatsoever. I think Assassin's Creed 1 had more PC options in terms of graphics and stuff than this game. Hello, Weird Hat Man. About time you showed up. What are you doing? I mean to start my inoculation. It's the most effective way to prevent the disease. Not a worry. The pity people are so damn stupid. They can't... Yeah. They're going to stop you from inoculating. What's wrong with you? An attack is coming. Are you ready for a fight? Always. You tell me where you want me and I'll make sure not a single man gets through. I'm trying to see the guard. Where is the guard? The mini-map- oh, he's around the fucking corner. Main objective, kill the approaching guards. There are none. I'm sure it probably said, hey, you can use a, a, an ability. Caught on the ground. Die.
die. And it's like, you can have a moment of respite. Neat. Why, why did the game immediately want to dome the dead body? Get punched, idiot. Now just loot some dead bodies, cause why not? I shot him in the nuts. I think my fist attacks are faster at killing people than my goddamn sword. The assassins have long since branched what out. What the fuck happened the to my hair? The colonies are no exception. The man you killed was a Templar. And here I was thinking you were helping me. I must say, I'm honored. <laughs> what happened to his hair? Why did he become? Need my help again. Why did he gain Desmond's hair? Did, did the hood just break? And was the hood supposed to be down that entire time? What the hell? This game, man. This fucking game, man. Once again, I don't know if I'm actually wanted or if the game is having a glitch. I am... Losing my mind. Ah, there we go. It actually says difficulty. I am losing my mind. Well, I guess we'll wait for Jacob Zinger to come on. <laughs> this remaster is just broken as fuck. I prefer playing the real one over this. Connor just added 20 years in this cutscene. <laughs> yeah, but it's just so weird. Because, like... Surely, like, and because here's the thing, not all of the problems I've run into are purely the remaster's fault. Some of it does lie at the base game. Like, ah, uh, nope, they want me for real. One second. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, once again. <coughs> I don't know why. My brain is just like, we have to sneeze twice in a row. Because it's a weirdo. We are like, the bonus objectives? Loathe them. I miss, uh, like, Revelations. Revelations had good bonus objectives, from what I remember. This game decided to go even worse than Brotherhoods. But yeah, it would be... But I could totally buy that, in general, this is worse than the original. I still think that a lot of problems still exist in the original, because, like, how would you make... Like, uh, graphically and performance-wise, I could see the remaster being super-duper totally worse. It would just be like, how the hell would you affect the gameplay in the remaster when they didn't even fix things like the weird buggy bonus objective when you played as Haytham and you need to shoot, like, powder kegs for that one mission? It's just like, how much has got to be broken? <laughs> You run like an airplane, little man. Oh. Analyze the empty crate. I, ha I thought I, ha I would want to chase after him. But, like, the crate's not going anywhere. Is this just going to be a repeat of Lance's mission? Is this the new Patrick? Also, this is the second time we've had a, uh, a flashback f for a... For a homestead mission. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Sure. Slightly odd. Slightly weird. 
And uh, now we will go do the main mission since we're here. I So we have the guy. The guy just opens the chest, crate, throws, <laughs> throws the cloth over th the fence. We grab it. That's it. Is something else going to happen? Is Quincent going to hunt down our seamstress all the way to our homestead or what? What does that add? For Lance, I had to follow a guy. Frickin' turkey. <laughs> Why is there a turkey? Okay. Multiple turkeys. Just random turkey. Roam in the wilds of New York. But what will be this mission? I, like, completely forget. But now that he is up and about, let's see. Hmm. I wonder where the. Oh, mm, mm, that actually makes me wonder. Where's our final assassin gonna come in? And what is the point of the mini assassin gameplay? And now I'm gonna have this horse following me for all eternity. Hello, Haytham. What are we going to do today? Who are we going to kill? Alternate methods. I came from the wrong direction, it seems. We need to know what the loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I have tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. <sighs> we're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to... Put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? We well, must murder everyone. We're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Like, the only Templar I believe would even have any information of what the Loyalists are doing would be Pitcairn. And even then, I don't know. Because he was more like on the offensive in Boston, or like around Boston, and doing stuff. Every, like, I don't even know who, who, like, which side technically William Johnson landed on. And then I think all the others have more or less been, re like, <laughs> rebels. Track down the Loyalist commander. Even though they're all Templars still. I ran over a bench. Game, game, game! What the fuck? Why would I want to climb? We are going to teleport Connor onto the wall. Where shall we go, Haytham? Whom shall we kill today at this officer's meeting? I find it amusing that we, like, don't really see any other Templars do this. It's only Haytham. Only playable Templars get the ability to climb. And then random NPCs when their AI bugs out, but still. Is this the officer's meeting? One of the guys is glowing. At least I think he was glowing. Could have just been the shimmer of my soft selection lock thing. I miss hard lock from Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Hmm. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. <laughs> Talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Actually, yes. Well, <laughs> yes. Ah! Ambush! 
Run for your lives! Connor? Little help here? Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. <laughs> My favorite glitch in the game, the we're not going to let you see when an attack is coming. Will somebody attack me? Hello, kill your friend. Does that guy just have a, like, a, a little hammer? Well, I guess a tom... Yeah, I don't know. My human shield! Would you like to talk to us? With your guns, just in your hands? We'll bring them back to my quarters at Fort Who's that? And see what secrets they might share. I don't know if that was actually a thing or if that was a glitch. Really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? <laughs> the longer we... Said so. <laughs> Go. The longer we wait, the further he's getting. And and again, was that guy that ran in the background foreshadowing, or was it just a random person? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> come no closer. Oh, I'm going to come as close as I want. Your guards do nothing. Move. Go to hell. I said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make we me We just go have in some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold, and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Yeah. Oh, Hatham and... is. Hatham's probably doing something. We probably shouldn't trust Hatham. He's too controlling and demanding. <laughs> now I get to play the part of the pusher. This is the first time that I could do... <laughs> the, the NPCs have been doing it since Assassin's Creed 1. Now I am the pusher. Even if I'm too far away. Move on. <laughs> That needs to be a button in like or just a command that I can equip at all times in every Assassin's Creed. I just gonna push people. Gonna move on. Hell yeah. Best mission in the game. I can push people. <laughs> move along. I am the pushman. Go on. Why is that highlighted? Is it just an effect of the light or can that actually be highlighted? Come on, go. Oh, this is magical. Come on. I think they're already dead. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. No, we'll do it ourselves. See, that wasn't so very difficult now, And now it? he'll die. I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. I'll let you go to heaven. <sighs> the other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Connor, this is, including all three of them, the fifth time that he's done this. You can't be surprised anymore. It was the like the one mercenary with the cart where he just domes the guy. Then there was the decoy back in the brewery. And you're surprised still, Connor? Why? They'd have warned the loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And with precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. I don't even know what the alternate methods were for that mission.
but I do find it funny that I was being chased by other British guards while I was chasing down the guy. And they just disappear. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else really to care about. So I shall fast travel away into the frontier. Well, at least these guys don't seem to care. Through the act of teleportation, everyone has forgotten that Connor is a wanted man for mass murder. Onwards we run into the frontier. We... Loading, loading. Must you pierce my ears with your screaming? And we'll just... Ah, uh, we'll see how far the horse can take us. To Valley Forge, I suppose. Unless we're gonna stop by and warn Washington. For a moment, the fast travel marker made me think that I was going the wrong direction. Horse stamina. It should be infinite. Because just like, I don't feel like horses add all that much. Why can't it be infinite? Me and my god of a horse. Going along the plains. No one would be able to stop me. I guess it's to stop you from, like, super outrunning the guards if you do and get into a horse chase, maybe? I don't know. Just want to make sure I'm slightly on the right track. I guess we go bibbidi bobbidi boo or I could just get off my horse and beeline it. And I mean, it's not like there's snow to stop me anymore. It's funny, like the only game that's like, hey, you should use your horse it, that I actually used my horse a lot in was like Red Dead Redemption 2 for the little bit that I played it. Probably because it's the only way to carry pelts. And that grueling entire thing that is hunting. On we go to the exclamation point mark. For some reason, I am now reminded I really need to return to Ace Attorney Trilogy to finish that presumably final case? There might be an extra one after it, but I think it's the final case. I just got distracted by all a bunch of different games. So I think I have a semi-plan for what I might do. After I beat Assassin's Creed 3. Ah, we're in Valley Forge. Haytham will be uh, be here in a moment, at any moment. He'll just appear like a forest spirit. Hello, Connor. I'm here to murder you. Surprise, I've actually been Washington this entire time. Why are there invisible walls? Thunder and lightning, very, very frightening me. I swear, I, uh, is this the first time it's been raining in this game? It's the first time that I really remember it. At least it's the first time r rain was accompanied by thunder and lightning like that. But as we run... I suppose I will ramble a bit. I find it funny that after the Game Awards, apparently a bunch of fans of Spider-Man 2 are like, Why did Baldur's Gate win Game of the Year? Almost because it's like everybody was talking about it due to how much of an anomaly it is of game design. Actually being good, one-time payment, no DLC. That is... 
Because, like, so, so many games have day one, day one DLC, and it's absurd. Hello, Washington. They're coming to murder us. Broken trust. Whose trust is broken? Sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Your weakness? Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way. You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? I mean, really, he has shown me tyranny. We kept killing guys. Sir. <laughs> Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to <laughs> And of course, Haytham is looking over his notes. Will have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be mildly. Oh, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Yeesh. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility. No! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son, do you think me so soft? That by calling me son, I might change my mind. How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? He's got a point there. Blood may stain another's hand, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you both. Choose to follow me or oppose me, and I will kill you. So now I understand why in the Bibbidi Ba. What's like the, the 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 PlayStation 3 DLC mission thingies? Why he was so pissed off with Washington? <laughs> Completely understandable now. Like it would be one thing if he just had orders go. Hey, diddly d. Oh, I have to kill them. Uh. Ah, there you are. <laughs> so I'm just going to be killing these guys as I go along. Hopefully they're all along the road. Horse decided to do a jig there, okay. Horse decided to take a stop there, okay. And I don't have arrows. You shall die. Oh, yeah, you're, you're an annoying one. We can't have good gameplay. We must remove the funds. We can't let the player just use the classical counter. Oh, another fourth that I'm probably not going to do anything about. 
I just do not find the forts interesting in this game. They're like lamer Far Cry outposts. Especially because they're just not built for Assassin's Creed gameplay. I'm sorry, dear sir, but you must die. I should make sure the village is safe. To be fair, if they are working with the British... Which would be hilarious considering beforehand they're like, no, we can't, we mustn't leave and do stuff. He leaves for a few years. Actually, we shall aid the British. I spur you, horse, jump off this cliff. I am your master. I wonder what they'll have to say. If I'll be stuck in, like, a three-way war where I have to kill my own village. Because they're like, ah, you worked with the <laughs> with Washington. You must die. <laughs> Damn you, horse. Let us see what madness shall become. At least they're bringing back the village. It's been forever since we've been here. And, like, I swear, the whole bit where his, like, childhood friend came is just like, Ah, oh, they're going to sell the village. This William Johnson man is doing bad things. He pops up twice, disappears after we kill William Johnson. Don't even get any resolution to that. I've heard terrible things with that other man. <laughs> yeah, what other man? He's a bad man. Why are you working for him? Charles Lee's bad. It's a very complicated thing. What counts as non-lethal methods? If I beat them with my fist, does it count? Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Wait, it's just kind of hilarious that they're like, ah, oh, we're gonna trust Charles Lee. Like, what, did he walk into town? It's like, I'm a friend of the boy! And they just believed him? Especially because they're like, no, we mustn't get involved. All that time ago. Then they're like, oh, I thought you'd want this to take a stand. And now I'm going to have to fight my friend, who we've met like three times. What do you mean, come to kill me yourself? What do you mean? Charles Lee. 
That you will try to deceive. Why do why do you believe Charles Lee over me? If we actually spent more time with this guy and he didn't just disappear from the story for so long, this might have emotional impact. He's kind of a dumbass. Because this has all the makings for being a very emotional scene. It's just that... He only existed, like, four times across this entire game. Like, if only we... Like, I don't know, if the story was paced better and was just done a bit better. Well, at least now we know why... He dislikes Washington in the PS3 bonus missions. Like, is the world going to crumble? It feels like the world's going to crumble. No, the world's not going to crumble. We'll just teleport here and then head on down. Like... Yeah, the story, if it was paced better, if we, like, spent more time with him, I think things would have been real. like, that would have been an emotional scene. If it was, like, a boss fight, that might have been interesting. But now it's a quick time event. And the fact is, like, he came to us multiple times for help. And then he's just, like, this random man... Told us that you have been seduced by the outside world. So instead of trusting you, the guy who prevented the selling of our land beforehand twice, I'm going to believe this random guy. I don't fucking care about the convoy. Straight up, I just don't care. Goodbye. And I'll be like, you're not attacking a convoy. Yeah, because I didn't initiate that. Leave me alone. The fuck? Yeah, just battle. But yeah, this definitely makes sense why he would dislike Washington after that. On the one hand, kind of makes sense why they want to put a stop to the natives allying with the British. On the other side... Like, you're not even attacking me. Jerk. But yeah, just like calling for the outright extermination. Like, who do you think you are? King Bradley? Jesus Christ. Like, maybe instead of explaining everything to Washington, maybe he should have explained everything to his own people. We will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Lafayette. Connor, my friend. 
you have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? That batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then runs away. <laughs> I am left to pick up the pieces. Am I gonna kill him? Where did they come from? I... <laughs> no one! There's not... Oh, there they are on the right side. Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. Am I gonna use the cannon? Because there was a cannon right there. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Let's see. Fire cannon. Bonus some time, sir. A perfect shot. Get out of here. With a single cannon, we shall wipe out entire armies. like utterly horrifying. They just like disintegrate. Well, how did that not kill them all? It's like one guy. Again, they just like disintegrate. We'll push these red coats back yet. That should slow them down. Goodbye. Get out of here. Try cannonball the guy on the horse. We'll push these red coats back yet. If we're not really pushing them back, we're surviving. There is a difference. Just an entire wall of guys is building up on the horizon. Low and ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. We literally turned dozens of dudes into paste. I wanted to get on the horse. But the horse decided no. Get back to the others. I will take care of this. Get out of here. This way, hurry. This way, Harry. And, like, why would anyone listen to Charles Lee at this point?
Like, you think that we would have told everyone, do not trust Charles Lee by now. Why would they believe the man? Sometimes the story just doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's just a wounded guy. He's like, oh, well, we'll leave him here. I thought maybe we'd try to get him to safety. That one guy was trying to shoot at a whole platoon. What a brave moron he is. Done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the loss would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will I thought he knew by now. Saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead. Or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long. Past. Like, I feel like the moment Connor came up to Washington and said, "Hey, Charles Lee was looking was working with Hickey to kill me and you," that like an investigation would have been had there. But no. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Poor Connor. Like, again, I feel like so much more story could have been done. How exactly, I don't know. All the people in the background, the shadows, did a jig there for a moment. Sure. Well, the statues of Lafayette and Washington just stood there. Something's happened, Desmond. What? Did dad die? Abstergo has your dad. <laughs> and you didn't tell Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. We can't. There's more. What happened? How long was I in there? Hello, oh hey, it's Vidic. I hope this message finds you well. It's been a bit. As well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just My question is, how long was I in there? I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. Cause like the main team went to get a power source. Maybe they want the world there. While I was being Connor. Burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he wants, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken, knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. Might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. And he's voiced by John Delancey. We just can't kill him off screen. Like one guy, I no think already did. America. There's no way they don't. Yeah, exactly. This is a bad idea. Like they're all looking at me. 
that guy's even poking through the glass. He's so shocked by my existence. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue this object, please. Once again, he's using just normal daggers instead of the hidden blade. Sadness. And they're not even using guns for some reason. At least they make it look like he's using daggers rather than the hidden blade. Like, you'd think the moment we started bashing the guards, they would have killed John Delancey dad. My father. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. What is it going to turn out that he's secretly a Templar too, like Hatham was at the beginning? You're going to have to climb the rest of the way. I'm trying to think, where does it want me to climb? Oh, this. <laughs> I thought I tried climbing, then it just didn't automatically go. Probably should have seen the wires leading me in the right direction. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Go into the hole. Out of my way. I do. Oh, they finally used a gun. But poorly. They're not really learning, they're just existing. Oh no, they hired sumo wrestlers. Through the power of hip checks, I shall rule the world. Get stabbed, idiot. How am I able to do this, but, like, the supposed, like... Why is that window broken? Oh, hey, it's the old room. Give me the apple. <laughs> what? This guy again? Does he even have a gun? Draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Yeah, so are the other so did the other guys. They had guns too. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. What? Not now. Oh, great. He has ghosts in his brain. What the hell was that? Juno? Oh, let's see. Can I access the computer still? That would be hilarious if the password still worked. Darn. I can climb up on it. The boardroom is still there. Oh, I can't go into the bedroom. Sadness. 
They bring us back to the old room just to do nothing. Hey, possessed man, come back. What is this? The j Did he jump out the fucking window? Oh hey, look down below. It's like all the multiplayer stuff from all the games except uh, they took it all out. Where'd he go? He went this way. Like, without being able to see an icon on him, I'm losing my mind. Oh, so that's why they weren't doing anything. Like, why wouldn't you want to kill me before, Vidic? Now where'd he go? I'm losing my... I lost him, I think. Or did he go down here? Yeah, this is just like a way too big place for them to be like, hey, chase this guy. <laughs> and normally I like the modern sections. I guess I can just kill all the guys and look for them at my leisure. Hello and welcome to the super cubicles. Ah, I found him! You'd think it would be difficult to f lose a guy jumping cubicle to cubicle, but you'd be surprised. Like, do I need to grab him? Game, why the fuck would I want to go there when he's running like that? Really, game? Oh, I need to kill him. That's what the game wants me to do. But he had... Why would I chase him all this way just to kill him? When he had a... He, he was just going, get out, get out. I'm confused, game. If I was just gonna kill him here, why didn't I kill him the last time we met? At that, like, stadium. Or hell, why didn't I kill him the first time we met when I bashed him over the head with a power source? If I was just gonna kill him here after he got possessed and started shouting, Get out, get out. Like he was in a Jordan Peele movie. And now I have the gun. What, will there be a zombie Lucy or something? He was mentally unwell. And you're not? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the game <laughs> broke there for a moment. <laughs> it had the gun, like, locked and loaded, but didn't want me to actually fight. Vidic's voice actor is just eating. Do it, lady. Do it fast. What do you got to say, Dad? Dad? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. I've called a lot of shots here. Now give me the apple. 
Am I gonna use the apple against all these guys? Don't kill Vidic, no! Damn it! He was like the only recurring villain. And now let me guess at the end of the game, Desmond is going to die, and then we're gonna have like no plot anymore. <laughs> Rescue your father? Yeah. <laughs> Hug. What man they killed Vedic? He was only here for like five minutes and now he's gone. Where do we go? <laughs> they just look upon me as if I'm a fearful god. And they're not even trying to fight or flee. They're just like cheering. They're like, hey, hey. Utterly horrific. And he's not going to comment, just like, it really shouldn't abuse the power of the apple, Desmond. Uh, you saw what it could do to Altair. It's just not very smart. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. I feel like that should have been a bigger thing, like, there should have been a series of modern day missions to get good old John Delancey dad back, because that went too quickly just to kill off Vidic, which again, now means that the, like, a, we are dwindling in characters now. Like, sure, Vidic didn't really seem to do much over the games ever past one, but, like, at least he existed. We touched base with him from time to time so that we know he existed and was doing things, he was a threat, and now he's just gone. I feel like Vidic should have had a bigger send-off than that. Just because of because, like, again, it feels like we might be heading towards the quote-unquote, this is meant to be the end of things, but it's definitely not going to be the end of things. All right, power source time. It's just like, man, I wish they spent more time making this game. Refining the story, refining the gameplay. That rock bridge was just sliding through the other rock bridge. Just clipping on through. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? Probably not. I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Which is hilarious, because that's all that these, these games are. <laughs> a couple of deaths! Let's see, any new diddly-dees?
Again, wish I could just hold it to scroll, but I can't. Let's see. You're kind, you wretched simple things. One step removed from animals. One step removed, no steps, none. You are animals. We had the sense. The sixth, we are transcendent. You are pretenders. You suppress. Your artifacts are lies. Economics, philosophy, literature, love. All born of desperation, denying what you are. Animals who root, who feast, who fuck, who kill. Hate. That is what you are. When I think, That is what I think when I think of you. Don't you? I know you think it's dangerous for me to head to Egypt on my own, but you're probably right. Wouldn't it be surprised if Cross is already there? They're locking these things down left and right, but we don't have a lot of lot of options. If there's a chance to grab the last power source, we've got to take it. I promise I'll be careful. I've been fighting these bastards since you were before you were born, literally. And then he got caught. <laughs> The ones you named Minerva and Tinya, they called you here, and then they left. Don't you find it odd? They would go through all the trouble and then just disappear? There were discs here once. I threw them into the abyss when I still could. I think they were meant for you, filled with lies. You don't need such things. I alone will guide you. You don't trust me. I am the enemy. I bade you kill the traitor, but if you hadn't, you would have died, and the world as well. I hate you, but you will save us. So I offered you my hand. I will lead you to salvation. She is just insane. I hate this part. Man, it's awful. I didn't feel attracted to Desmond's story, and I hate the switch between Desmond and Connor. Honestly, I kind of prefer Desmond's story, almost. Because at least we've known him for a long while. And, again, like, the modern, like, parts, the modern levels felt nice and contained and not bogged down by all the systems that seem to consistently bug out on me when I play as Connor. The main reason, the main problem for me is that Connor's story is just all over the place. It feels like we jump and jump and jump and jump and jump, and it feels like story beats just don't make sense to me sometimes. Again, really think Connor saying, hey, Charles Lee worked with Hickey to try and get me murdered as well as you, Washington. I think that would have come up long before Charles Lee <laughs> betrayed them at Monmouth. I don't know. It's just like, something's just off with the story in a lot of places for me. And I just wish that there was like more modern parts. Hell, I wouldn't have minded if like, the game was split straight down the middle and it was like some Connor, some Desmond as we try to wrap things up, it seems. Again, we killed Vidic. Don't know where we're going from here. They're going to be here soon. Trap me in this damn museum. Should have taken more precautions. I'm sorry, son. It wasn't fair for me to come down on you the way I did. You never asked for any of this and I should have been more understanding. I hope you can forgive me. I love you. Like, so far, the only, like, real wonky part... Well, th Desmond's main story has had a few wonky parts. Primarily because of Brotherhood. Where it's just like, we're looking for another apple. We found another apple. Shanks, Lucy. And, like, again, maybe it's because I didn't play the Revelations DLC. I think it was. Uh, I don't know. There was, like, something about that. I didn't play that part because I figured it would just be more of the first-person platforming stuff that I didn't really care about from that game. That maybe explained why Lucy was, like, I don't know, a sleeper agent or something. But then, like, Juno? Juno is just weird. Like, Minerva was, like, at least kind of ethereal and interesting. Then there was, like, Tinya for a little bit, but I completely forgot about him. Because he existed, like, I don't know, maybe he existed a bit more than I remember, but it didn't seem like he did much. And now it's just Juno. Crazy, crazy Juno. And that's kind of bogging the story down a bit. It's like, I think it's part of it. Hmm, I don't know. It's hard looking at this, like, series in hindsight, but let's see. Back to Connor we go. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. I think there's like two more memory sequences. I'll have to check the DNA thing. Anything? The, are turning. the loyalists <laughs> fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. 
Making matters That's the worse, Templars for you. Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. Really? I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace. Hmm. And I am glad of it. Yeah, at least he if listened I to you. Be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. And through it, peace. Doubt it. The hatchet is still in still in the, the pillar. Connor, he's asking for you. What is Achilles dying? Oh yeah, I forgot. We were already spoiled on that. The final homestead mission for Achilles is finding him a good grave, I think. Hello, cobbler. That still bothers me that this game piecemeal feeds you the bonus objectives as they're relevant. Again, I presume because, oh no, we can't tell the player the bonus objectives beforehand. It spoiled the mission. Then you go to the memory sequence and it just like literally has it right front and center. No, just two, yep, two more memory sequences. But then if you just go, Homestead Achilles. Ready his final resting place. Well, we can't spoil the player on individual mission things. What if they know that they're going to explode powder kegs later in the level? That would be spoilers. Oh, by the way, Achilles is gonna fucking die. I don't understand this game sometimes. Could be a nitpick, but I don't know. I I don't understand why they wouldn't give you the bonus objectives from the start. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. That doesn't match with your monologue. Uh, uh, Connor, in the monologue, you just said... What? Oh, well, I, I guess it makes sense, because he said Washington spared Lee's life. But... I don't know. The wording could have been... They could have added... Washington recognized that Lee betrayed them, but banished him or something. Because to me, for some reason, the spared Lee's life made me think like, oh, nothing happened. When in actuality, things did happen. I don't know. Maybe I could just be in a weird mindset of reading. But hilariously, if they just didn't have the monologue, I wouldn't have this issue. Because I wouldn't be confused. Country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are saved. Not, not really. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. Yeah, it is kind of. When you first came to me, I'll let him finish the sentence, then I'll go on my thoughts. But it is weird how Connor continues to go. It's just like, oh, you think you could call me son and have that change my mind? And it's just like, but seems to not want to kill Haytham. Despite the fact that Haytham seems no different from any of the other Templars. Like, the only bit that made Haytham kind of interesting was when he was like, oh my god, I didn't order my men to kill, like, your mother's, or attack your mother's village, what the fuck? It's like, but then that moment just came and went, and you'd think that then Haytham would want to hunt down Lee because he'd be a loose cannon, I don't know. Again, it, the pacing of the story and its beats are weird to me. It could just be me. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the brotherhood, for your people. What brotherhood? There's only two of us. Well, I mean, I guess I do have some of the other dudes, but, but still. We gone, my father might listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. <laughs> Poor Achilles. Just going grown old. 
I do like the music. It's not as noticeable as previous titles, but it's still good when I do notice it. Connor, I came as soon as I could. <laughs> He's just suddenly here. Tell me you bring good news. The Conte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Oh, there's three dudes left. I forgot that one. Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander... The commander <coughs> underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill, Kill Charles, Charles Lee. Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I don't I know why the... Infiltrate it directly. Those wooden blocks, they look so, so low. Hatham is such a wonderful character. He deserved a better ending than this. I wonder what his ending will be, then. Because he was kind of interesting in the beginning, but... Uh, again, I still have issue with the opening because of the... Oh, and suddenly we are Templars, so we are going to become absolute bastards from here on out. And he's just like, again, he like, he began with, oh, I disagreed with my brothers because they're like, ah, we have to be iron-handed, iron-fisted, and rule, and that's bad. Skip ahead a few years, I'm going to commit the Boston Massacre. Like, again, could just be a story thing. He's, he's the best out of all the Templars, at least so far. Because he's the least, the least weird. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Also, hit, uh, Connor's hair has come back from that one cutscene glitch. I just, I just realized. Well, we shall go do what I presume to be some of the final homestead missions. Of course, there's going to be like a few homestead missions more, maybe, in the future. Because there's two, well, we're in the middle of the, one of the memory sequences, so there's one more after this. Clue analyzed. I just ran by the clues. I didn't analyze them, actually. Thank you, game. A oh, raccoon ate these berries. I don't care. What do you mean, notoriety level three enemies will attack on sight and back to notoriety you are now incognito? Thank you, random alerts. You, you, you weird alerts. And of course they send me an email right as I get into the animus. Why? At the very least, I can say that this has been the least frustrating Assassin's Creed 3 session that I've had. The game has not had a complete and utter seizure on me so far this session. It's mostly been wonky story stuff rather than wonky gameplay. I have delivered the silk. I for a moment there, I thought a guy was just t posing, like where the stand was meant to be. How many AC games have you played? I have played Assassin's Creed One, Two, Brotherhood, Revelations, and now I'm getting through this one, and I want to play them kind of in order. And I'll at least give Liberation, and I believe Rogue is the other one a shot, those standalones. Well, but, but less stand. Liberation is more of like Freedom's Cry, and then Rogue is different because it's kind of like an actual standalone game. But yeah, I'm going to try and give as many of the Assassin's Creed games mainline uh, a shot. Because I, I do enjoy them. Even if this one is not my favorite, Your definitely not. Speaking ill of you, he ran off when he saw me. Oh my! I'll let the cutscene play and then give more thoughts. A man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. He tried to Thank besmirch the rolls, but he failed because he's a fool. Oh boy, capacity upgrades. But yeah, 
Because so far from my rankings of Assassin's Creed games, it's kind of like Assassin's Creed 1 and, and Revelations are tied for ones that I like the most. Because Assassin's Creed 1 has the least issues out of all of them. Revelations kind of has... I forget. It's been a while since I played Revelations. It has a few issues, but they're very minor. Two, I would like to a lot, were it not for the fact that two also has memory sequences 12 and 13, I believe they are. Memory sequence 13 is probably some of the worst Assassin's Creed gameplay I've ever played. It is easily the worst memory sequence, at the very least. I hate that memory sequence. It did not help that my only experience with Assassin's Creed 2 was with the original release of the Xbox 360 version, and I think our Xbox 360 never was connected to the store, and so we never, like, downloaded or, like, bought or whatever the memory sequences 12 and 13 were. Apparently they were added post-launch, and they were weird! <laughs> and then Brotherhood? Brotherhood is... I really didn't like Brotherhood. The story didn't really grip me. I guess it's decent because it wraps up the mid, uh, the the Borgia, but when it comes to like Desmond's story, it's mostly just we have to find an apple. I found an apple. Kill Lucy, and like even the story surrounding Ezio and Rome felt kind of eh, because it has the big bombastic intro of oh no, they killed Uncle Mario. But then it's kind of a lot of plodding and padding and red herring. They're gonna betray us. Uh, the mercenary guy was still a lot of fun. The targets were kind of lame. The bonus objectives were shit. And I didn't complete the wolf cult armor quest. I just grew real tired. Of oh yeah, and I also got two soft locks. Well, actually, yeah. One hard lock in in game and then a, a weird moment where i had to skip a cutscene because i was locked into the cutscene even though it was gameplay so i had to restart like half a level and that was before they had uh, <laughs> restart from checkpoint buttons so that was very annoying did not like brotherhood and just for whatever reason assassin's creed 3 has had a lot of annoying things for me the story is acceptable. It's mostly been a lot of, like, kind of glitches, gameplay weirdness. The fact that they changed a lot of the gameplay from Assassin's Creed 2 and the Ezio Trilogy stuff. Because I really like that gameplay. And then they just kind of changed it so it's very weird trying to go back and be like, Ah, I want to do it this way and play like Ezio. And the game's like, no, you're a Connor now. And you're going to play weird. I don't know. And plus, it feels like there's a lot of systems, and then I just don't really use the systems. This game's weird to me. Proper tools. What do you need me to do, Big Dave? Is it coming, Big Dave? <laughs> you make any progress on the knife? I would like to give it to Miriam soon. The steel Norris smelted is something else. I've rarely seen such fine metal. Huzzah, Norris. The trouble is my old tools aren't hard enough to work it. The ones I need aren't hard to find. A shop or two in New York sell them at a good price. I'd do it myself, but with the regulars after my head, I'll stay here safe and sound if I can. I have matters to attend to in New York. I will see to it the next time I journey there. Sounds good. Find both pieces of Dave's new hammer. And yeah, we'll go ahead and run to New York, because why not? But yeah, there's just something awful lot about Assassin's Creed 3. I've been taking a lot of notes, because, again, I plan to make, like, edited, scripted YouTube videos, giving my thoughts on the various Assassin's Creed games. But it's just... There's just something off about Assassin's Creed 3. Like, I haven't done actual hunting in forever. And this whole game has been like, you can do hunting. And then I just don't care to. He said he needs to go to New York. Then we will go to New York. It just, yeah. The main problem is 
I think Assassin's Creed 3 is when it really started to become Ubisoft Sandbox. Here's random thing you can do. Here's random thing you can do. Here's a bunch of systems. And then I just don't have any reason to engage with the systems. And again, they removed health bars. They even removed your own health bar. It's just COD health now. The weapons feel superfluous and weird. And they also got rid of countering because, like, we have to make countering more interesting. And by that we mean making disarm the new kill everything counter. I don't know, it's just weird. Still AC3, best combat system. Oh, I disagree heartedly. It could be that I'm misusing it. That's the entire thing. I could, it could be a me problem. But my own personal experience is I vastly prefer, like, Assassin's Creed. I thought I set a mission point here. Mm -hmm. That's probably because it's doing that weird layered thing and it's messing up. But yeah, I vastly prefer the Ezio Trilogy's combat, especially Revelations. And it's just, again, like, the lack of health bars on enemies... The fact that they bungled the counter system, in my opinion, because it would be interesting if the counter system was done in such a way like, ah, the best counter is like, oh, for this guy, he's big and heavy, so you can throw him around to get hits on him. Ah, this guy's agile, so maybe you should disarm him. Uh, or like something like that. Like each unique enemy has their own preferable counter. But no, it's just most like, half the enemies die to normal counter, the rest are annoying and only are able to be killed after you disarm them. Granted, I think there's tiers, so it's like, normal mooks go down to normal counter, you can throw around officers, and then big burly guys require disarming twice to kill, but... I just feel like it interrupts the flow. And also the... Again, could be that I'm misusing it, but I prefer the stealth of a, the Ezio Trilogy. I prefer the feeling of combat in the Ezio Trilogy. Again, could just be that my brain is hooked on, like, Assassin's Creed 2 and Revelations combat, but it just doesn't feel rot to me. I can't speak for later games in the franchise, how the combat might be. But for this one... Nah, I'm just not feeling it. Again, it could most likely be that I'm just really, really into the previous games. And the fact that my first Assassin's Creed was Assassin's Creed 1. And then the Ezio Trilogy iterated off of that. But it just feels like a bunch of the changes they made to Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, hey. What's his name? Oh, no, they're going after Big Dave. Big Dave. Did in a whole unit escaping, they say. Uh, was that before or after I did a unit for him, saving him? But yeah, then the main issue for me when it comes to all of this is that they've changed a lot. From, a, from the Ezio trilogy. And the... Like, the many gameplay issues that I've run into. Which could... Some could be intentional. Some feel definitely like glitches or oversights and issues and stuff. Makes it feel like somebody wanted to rip off Assassin's Creed. But it got labeled Assassin's Creed. Yeah, because to me, Revelations is peak combat. For Assassin's Creed. Not to mention peak stealth. <laughs> nah, don't expect the next games to be better. Ubisoft just goes down. I'll still give it a fair shot. Even Unity. Even if I will go into some more negative than others. Like, let me see. No, mostly Unity. It is mostly Unity that I think I'm going to be negative on. I heard a lot of good things about 4, except there's a ton of... Like, ah, tail that guy missions. Which, oh dear god, I hope they ironed out the, the issues <laughs> between this game and 4, because... Ooh, the enemy AI, just like, I'm going to turn around now! 
So bothersome. But I'll definitely be interested in how they change things for, like, the the super-duper open-world games, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Even though those feel less Assassin's Creed and more we are now wannabe Skyrim, is what it feels like. And even, like, Assassin's Creed Mirage, we're like, we're trying to go back to our roots. I just, I don't feel like uh, they did, because there's frickin' RPG elements. There's skill points. There's, like, ghost magic. Like, I understand that Assassin's Creed gets super fantasy. What, am, what the hell am I saying? Of course it gets super fantasy. They bring in, like, minotaurs later on. Connor. He goes super. Have the tools you Unity is fun as hell, but the story is Excellent. meh. I'll That's right sad. The main thing that I'm worried about for Unity is, well, it depends. Because I might just skip over some of the gameplay parts that I don't like. Like, oh, this kind of mission, screw it, and skip it over. But uh, it's that, ooh, this is the co-op game. This is the co-op Assassin's Creed. Get some of your buddies and do this co-op mission. I do not have friends to do those with. So unless they, like, super ease them down after the hype fell. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do those. Around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. They're always looking for I'll Big Dave. Sometime or another. What does he have in there? The light of God? Let's see, anything else? Nope. Oh, nope. There is indeed. It never stops. <laughs> Rent them. <laughs> Rent friends. Well, there is that one guy, I think, in Japan I heard about that makes like six figures doing absolutely nothing. He just hires himself out to just be a presence. You want somebody to sit down and eat food with you? You can hire him for like $86 an hour or something. Restaurants will hire him to come and eat in their restaurant so that it's like actually people eating in their restaurant. People just hire him to walk with them to the market. Holding the knife like that is eerie. Horace, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe what are you going to do, kill her? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. But she but needs a knife. Something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Norris is like depressed. All his missions have been centered around this. Are you just going to stand there? Let us go, Norris. Let us deliver a knife. We'll get there. She has a new knife already. Well, let's see how things go. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay in chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Norris is just like, Connor, what are you doing? Much obliged. If you're going to play Unity, you should play Rogue too. There's some important uh, cutscenes. Okay, doke. I was planning on playing Rogue anyway, going down like the release date list diddly dee. really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then. Huzzah! You have wooed the woman. Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. Hunt a wolf. I shall kill the wolves. 
through the power of button presses. Where did the other ones go? <laughs> they looked like rocks there for a moment. They blended in. Now time to scan the area. What will we see? Like a second giant white cougar come for revenge? You have killed my father. Prepare to die. It looked like I took damage. Yes, I went to where you told me. What the fuck? You go, you get into a knife fight with a poacher. Connor, need some backup. <laughs> why is there a why is, why is there a poacher just fucking knife fighting her in the woods? <laughs> Welcome to Knife Club. I would like to <laughs> diddly dee. The time for forgiveness has passed. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. It's hilarious that he knows not to deal with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The time for forgiveness has passed. I won't come back again. I swear it. It's like they changed the voice actor mid scream. Get shot. had this blade that lick spittle might have gutted me a timely gift from <laughs> norris saved your life indeed i must make sure to thank him properly congratulations norris you have saved their life i don't understand like the mission title though fool me once shame on me no, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I forgot the words, because I am but a fool. It keeps on happening. It never ends. The homestead, it just keeps growing. Then again, some of them do lead into each other, so I guess it makes sense. Do one, the next... Like what? It, now that we have Timothy the, the pasture, is Norris and Miriam going to get married? And then the, the the poachers are all going to invade, and it'll be a big bash out brawl. Man, I just I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this game. It's mostly because it just feels like. The story has such potential. I just wish that the story had a bit more, like, care and attention given to it. I still, I still laugh over the fact that they made a one-time minigame for splitting up a fight between the... I forget who they are. Like, uh, the first Homestead people, they get into a fight, you have to pull them apart. They have just an entire minigame dedicated to that. Connor! Connor! The final... What? Dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. Oh. way to stop it. So there's an entire war going on. I am sick of waiting. If you come near her, I'll tear you apart. So I, I was not too far off. Oi. Leave that front door alone, bastard. And then I'm just gonna choke you out. Oh, Quincent and his thugs. That makes sense. They did come a knocking. 
and Maria are free of you. By the way, how can you play all the franchise? Uh, don't you feel the repetitive? I do take long breaks. I kind of powered through-ish. No, not even that. I think I only really powered through Assassin's Creed 2, then Brotherhood. Took a big break. Played Revelations. Took a big break. And now I'm doing Assassin's Creed 3. I say so. The people behind me say so. So I do take Believe decent big I tell you, if I ever breaks between them. Again, I will end you. You can have them. How are you? Thank you, all of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to I wouldn't mind if that was the final homestead mission. Because all the homestead members running to save another. It feels good. It feels like a good climax to the homestead. And yup, there's more homestead. Then again, of course, there's more homestead. We have to bury Achilles at some point. Hmm. I'm just wondering things. Running? You'll kill yourself doing that? Running on the road? Are you mad? What, if you see a horse run by, are you going to go, Oh my god, that horse is going to kill him? Utter madness. Oh, so there was going to be a wedding. Okay. Get judoed. Norris, what are you doing? She said yes. Marion, we are getting married. I think that's the most emotion I've heard out of Connor. <laughs> that that one line. Miriam? Yes. <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course. What would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Like I think Connor talking to the homestead people is the most natural his performance ever gets. Miriam knows not where her father is, and they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. Neat. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony, and give her to Norris, as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Our weddings are complex beasts, and require many hands working together to execute them. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food. Ellen to make them appropriate clothes. Also, oh, this still is kind of like all the homestead people come together to do a thing. Neat. And Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. What, are we going to play poo sticks off of the bridge? A few days later. I'm going to assume that, yeah, we go in. What's wrong? Did you get stabbed? Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. Like, it's almost disappointing that, like, all of this is like, uh, hmm, let me go check the map again for where it wants me to go. Oh, it wants me to go inside. Really? Interesting. I'm a dumb. But it's almost disappointing that, like, all of this is held just to the, the homestead stuff. And thus technically optional. Did she get kidnapped? She did drop the bouquet. And a mirror got smashed. But who would be after... 
<laughs> Another flashback. All the flashbacks. What? Uh, Miriam ran? What? But yeah, all the all the flashbacks are solely for the homestead missions, and I don't know why. Another sadness is kind of like how the forest free running kind of becomes I don't know, feels kind of gimmicky after a while because you only really get use out of it if the level is designed for it. What? Who was yelling that? For a moment there, I thought the river just dried up. What? Why do you run? Nobody thinks you are one. That's what all this means. Does it though? You're ruining your dress. <laughs> Split second cinematic of her turning around. <laughs> so what are you planning to play next after Assassin's Creed 3? More than likely, I'm going to finish up a, uh, Ace Attorney Trilogy, because I think I'm on the final case. And I need to go back and finish that. It's been a few months since I played that, because brain got blank, and I decided to just go to do different other games. Other games that I definitely want to play on stream eventually, like in the relative future, is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky... I remember really loving that game, but I don't think I ever, like, fully beat it. I think I got up to the, like, designated credits section. And, but I want to go back, play it, and do, like, all the post-game stuff. Stuff like that. And uh, then I also want to do Pokemon Platinum. And I have, like, a bunch of RPGs, a bunch of other games. I even set up, like, a spinny digital wheel for me to turn if I can't think of a game that I want to play on my own. But yeah, just lots of games. Lots and lots of games that I have options for. <laughs> kind of funny. She turns at the river. Cuts uh, loading screen. Turns at the wedding. <laughs> oh, we, we haven't seen him without his uh, little hat before. Norris looks adorable. Here you are. <laughs> There's Great Achilles. Your bride. Huzzah! I already did chase Miriam game. The UI is broken again, methinks. Utterly lovely. For a moment there, I thought that patch of wall was the same as the flashy, flashy, you can do stuff. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? Indeed, I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes Best friends. Right I've only had that. you for like 20 minutes. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. <laughs> but I do love <laughs> the homestead. Brother Joseph tossed him in the river! <laughs> Everyone just standing alone. Around with the laugh animation looks so disturbing. Oh, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> Quite.
calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Oh, he's a bloody mountain. <laughs> My younger brother had a blow up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousins sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Not him good things don't come easy. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This is just nice. This flag is a symbol that of That's a very wavy flag. <laughs> and I would hope you'd all be proud There's no to wind. fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. It looks very nice. <laughs> she quickly folded it up back into a triangle. You know what? The homestead stuff is just so nice. Father Timothy offered moral guidance to all homesteaders. He wasn't doing that before? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like what? Can I go into the church and see him giving moral guidance? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's almost more ominous than anything. What? Oh dear God, more missions have arisen. I think I'm just going to go and do the story mission and then we can come back and uh, do all these the next time because I've been doing a lot. Yes, I did. <laughs> I think I'm done. I'll definitely do them in the future, but I just can't bring myself to do them now. And yeah, we'll probably do this final mission. Story mission, and that will be it for the stream. Because we probably have tons of story missions left to do. I'll just probably try to endeavor to finish up all these homestead missions before the end of this memory sequence. Because I don't think this should end the memory sequence. Let me quickly check. I don't right think that it's like that good at telling you how things go, but... Yeah, because it just has uh, three missions. Oh, this one has two missions, of which... Oh, these are short memory sequences. All right, so this next, like, story mission, uh, in stream, uh, go and uh, next time we stream, do all of those homestead missions. Because these are teeny tiny memory sequences. Utterly teeny tiny. Yes, Father Timothy will offer moral guidance. I, that is another thing that I hate about this game, is that sometimes the UI will just bug out and not update the left-hand corner, and I loathe it. Apparently there's, like, a thing. I don't care. I want to do main mission. Battle of the Chesapeake. The Chesapeake Deep Down Do. I don't even think Connor said anything. It had Connor saying things in the, uh, the, 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 the words, but didn't. Promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. I wonder when that one. phrase came to be. They are yours, provided we survive this. Oh, what would you have me do? Kill Hold them all. Is the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from your town.
Last time I got into ship combat, I almost died. Let's see how well I do. It's been a bit since I've done ship combat, so... Idly DGB! Sail into combat with our allies. Fifty-five billion. I would like control of my camera. I would like control of my bloody camera, mate. Oh, hey, I took damage. <laughs> At least it's acting like I'm taking damage because. Destroy three ships in one broadside. Uh, lucky thing, I'm not going for any actual bonus objectives anymore. Man, that is a shitty little ship if it went down that easily. How did that teeny tiny little ship send all those, all that, Jesus. Got a big boy. One of my ships has been utterly destroyed. I think that guy got destroyed by that. Oh no, he's still alive. It's hard to see. All right, myself. There we go. Not that bad. They sent a ton of ships. But it wasn't terrible. I feel like that is a far too many volleys from a single ship. Even if it's a double decker. Oh, I was doing great. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Terrible at steering. I am terrible at steering this ship. Gotta, gotta get rid of the big guy. I wish I could turn more. Damn it. They're just ramming into me eternally. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I, I feel like I feel very weird. Oh, I love that you're not dead. At least if you didn't get hit. That was a weird experience. 
All right, good. We are surrounded on all sides, it seems. That's the one downside of the cover mechanic is that it feels like it dooms us to take a lot of damage anyway. Dang it. I think we're dead. At least it feels like we're dead. And of course they introduce more goddamn ships. I more wanted to stop the I wish there was a way to heal. I understand why there isn't. Oh, we are just going to die, aren't we? Oh, we're dead. Or are they? I don't think there's much I can do. Ah, huh, somehow, somehow we did uh, increase our health. I have no idea how. I'm just terrible. <laughs> with the ship combat. Huzzah. store. Huzzah. Somehow we made it through that. <laughs> and the quest marker sails off into the smoke. No, we have to follow our friends to the next encounter. What do you mean, next encounter? I thought this was it, mate. Oh, he's dead. We're all alone in the sea with a half-sunk ship. I think we're <laughs> we're it. Hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. She's coming about, sir. Who's coming about, sir? I don't see nothing except that there's that one ship that I saw a long time ago. Well, that's kind of mean. All right, time to ram the man of war. He's not really planning to board them, is he? Has he lost his mind? Who's going to get us all killed? This ship is yours, Mr. Faulkner. I'm going to kill them all on my own. That's how Black Flag look, uh, looks like. Oh no. I 
Uh, rude. Double rude. Are these guys just coming from the sea? Okay, I hate that you are just being a little bitch. Okay, game, that's not what I wanted. Why would that even be a thing? Like, I would have engaged the game, but no, the captain guy's like, I'm going to shoot you from behind cover. <laughs> and that just bothered me immensely. He moon jumps. You mad bastard. And that's how the legend of Jack Sparrow came to be. Hopefully those are our reinforcements. I don't see a flag on top. Because I don't think I could fight them all. took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Murder. Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirate killed or goods transported, and instead, you asked for us to, what, shell New York? Yes. No. <laughs> of course not. Uh, A part of New York. Only part of it. <laughs> Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. <laughs> but a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite! At least it was an interesting mission. Not terrible. I didn't get eaten alive that terribly. It's kind of amusing. It's like, defend your allies, they die anyway. We'll see any Hello, remaining. Lieutenant. Welcome back. Hello. Is everything in place? We oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. I completely forgot that the tunnels exist. They introduced them, and then that was just. A... But I do believe that that will be it for now. Again, this has been the best, like. Da da da. No, wrong way. This has been the best, like, uh, play session of Assassin's Creed 3 that I have had. It hasn't had as many just absolutely annoying moments. The controls didn't betray me half as much. Really, the only weird parts was the story from time to time. But overall, it was quite an enjoyable session. Even if there were still a few little twiggles here or there of annoyance. I'll just head back to the homestead so that next time we begin up, we can go and do as many of the homestead missions as my brain can take. It is just ever so slightly... Annoying though, it's like, oh, there's one last one. Then this feels like the last one. Do it four more pop up. There is no end. They spread like rats. But yes. Not much else to say. The homestead missions are very nice. Uh really the only real development was the modern day section in which Vidic got killed. Yes. 
which again, kind of disappointing because he was our only like actual villain aside from Juno. Juno's kind of building up to be a villain now, but I liked Vidic. He was there from the beginning, and then they just go and shoot him. At least, at least Desmond was the one to kill him. That is, at the very least, it. But again, just kind of disappointing that he's gone. Because he only really got to play a role in Assassin's Creed 1, then he just kind of had cameos here or there. I think he headed up the multiplayer. You know, the multiplayer that got taken out of, like, the Ezio trilogy for the re-releases and everything. Kind of sad. But, yeah, again, the most enjoyable uh, play session yet. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you liked what you saw, I have two YouTube channels. The scripted and edited video channel, Neon Icy Wings, that I swear I'm going to put videos on again sometime. It's been five billion years, but I'm trying. And then my streaming channel, Neon Icy Games. If you prefer Twitch for streaming, I also have a Twitch channel, Neon Icy Wings, at twitch.tv. But also, if you want to see the games that I've played in the past... My Neon Icy Games YouTube channel has a bunch of videos there uploaded of the various different games that I've played, like Mass Effect, Kirby, Undertale, tons of them. And then if you want other things from me, like my art, you can find links to the various sites I use through my link tree, linktr.ee slash neoniceywings, or a direct link to it through the description of YouTube videos, bios of the various different sites, and link places in all the various different sites that it might be. Also in my link tree is links to my writing if people want to read, and even my Patreon if they want to throw a dollary do my way and give a little bit of sprinkling light in the darkest hours of the universe. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.